In this video, you will learn the process of creating an enclosure. We will also look at how to create named selections. Bring the geometry module onto the project schematic window and link fluent meshing module. Import the car onto the geometry and view it in space claim. The car model has been brought in with a radius around the wheels. This will be showed later in the video. Create a bottom and a mid plane using the axis. Hold control while clicking both axes to create a plane. These planes will be used later so hide them for now. The repair tool can be used to fix features of the model that are important in creating a high quality mesh. We wouldn't be using the repair tool as our geometry is relatively clean. Create an enclosure around the car by clicking enclosure and box selecting all the components. Have the length behind the car is 3 times the length of the car to capture the wake structures. Have the width and height to 1 car length and click the complete button. Make sure to conduct a domain study by varying its dimensions and understanding how it affects the flow. Toggle on the midplane and hide the enclosure. Using this midplane, sketch a rough rectangle using the rectangular sketch tool. Add material and pull 1500 mm in both directions. It is a body of influence, which will be renamed to Boy for simplicity. Copy and paste Boy 1 using Ctrl C and V. And rename this to Boy 2. Hide Boy 1 and click on the faces as shown. By typing 500 and hitting Enter. Boy 2 will be pulled in all the directions by 500 mm. Unhide the enclosure. Hold Ctrl as well and use the middle mouse button to scroll and to choose the Boy 2 face. Click on the face and pull it up to the end of the enclosure. These bodies of influence will be used to create a finer mesh later in fluent meshing. Triple click the bodies of influences and change the transparency for both the boxes. Hide everything except the wheels and triple click it to select it as a body. Make an axis at the center of the wheel. Hold control of both of the axis to find the distance to the center of the wheel. Make note of the X, Y and Z coordinates. Repeat the same process for the back wheel and make a note of those coordinates as well. Delete the axis in the wheel as it's not needed. Using the split body tool and the planes we've created, cut the body as shown. Hold control when choosing the cutting planes. And delete the parts as shown as it's not needed. As seen, only half of the car will be used for analysis, as the car is symmetrical saving computational cost and time. The bodies of influence don't necessarily need to be cut as they indicate refinement in the fluid zone. The excess geometry won't be taken into account. Select a body or face and then go to groups to create named selections. This will make it easier to pick up zones in fluent meshing later. Name this as Inlet. Exterior name selections are as shown. Inlet. Sky. Outlet. Symmetry and ground. Select all the faces and hide it. Triple click to select it as a body and create a name selection called Boy Far Field. 
Repeat the same process for Boinier field. When selecting geometry, holding the left mouse button and dragging from different corners has different functions. Dragging for the bottom right to the top left, will select faces it touches. Dragging from top left to bottom right will select only what its enclosures. Call this rear wing and repeat the same process for all the components of the car. We have rear wing. The wheel radii, this will help remove sharp angle and improve mesh quality around that region. The rods. The back wheel and the front wheel. Front wing and lastly, the chassis. Show all the components and suppress the car. This ensures the car model does not come into fluent mesh. And save the geometry. Thank you for watching and part 2 will cover fluent meshing.